and get your kiss on. I broke my toe the other day. Yeah, I was chasing my sister up the stairs and I hit my phalange on a bookshelf. I don't know if you guys want to see my foot, but it's the big toe, like the long one, not to be mistaken by the thick girthy one so yeah i fucked up my lengthy toe this is the first time i've broken a bone i'm still in shock i made a gofundme page so y'all could support my toe journey if you can't donate to the cause then it's fine just like the video and comment preferably something along the lines of hashtag safe case lengthy toe speaking of toes standing on your toes ballet as a dancer, you always gotta have a level of respect for ballet. It's just one of those things, like Aunt Jemima. You don't disrespect Aunt Jemima, do you? Don't fact check me, but ballet is the most important form of dance because it's old, you know, it's the classic. It's the foundation of dance. It's the gold mother of dancing. All the crucial dance techniques are mastered in ballet, such as balance, form, presentation. But you know what? I gotta be honest with you. I am personally not exactly fond of ballet. First of all, I'm gonna just say what we're all really thinking. I'm just gonna put it out there. It was not out there before, but it will be in the next two seconds. Ballet is like a cow's jewelry. It's boring. No one watches ballet besides people who do ballet. I remember I convinced myself to do ballet one time, but it wasn't even me actually wanting to do ballet. It was just me submitting to the fact that it's important and it'll help with my other dances. So I took ballet for three years of high school. The first year I was a sophomore and there was this black junior biddy that either liked me or just thought I was really cool because she always wanted to hang outside of school so I could teach her the cha-cha slide. Nothing, nothing. She also asked me to homecoming. I had to politely decline, but good on her for asking. She's a fearless woman. She was nice, but I never hung out with her because I never liked her like that. She wasn't bad, but she wasn't bad. Nothing, nothing. And I'm only friends with girls that are either pretty or a plug. Got you with the hookups or just really chill. And those girls are usually the plug, but yeah, so I had no reason to hang out with her. But now that I look back, I probably should have chilled with her anyway. As I was writing this script, I just had a thought that might be far-fetched. I don't know if I'm correct, let me know. But maybe as men, we should fulfill our duties and bless every single female that likes us. At least while we're growing up, you know, while we're becoming men. Like, think about the girls that have liked you in the past. Sure, you may not have liked them, but if you really think about it, You could, you could, you could. <laughs> I mean, you could. <laughs> I mean, you could. Like, biologically, men are just trying to spread our genes, right? So, if they like us, shouldn't we be spreading all of those females' genes? Like, no matter the quality of the woman, hypothetically, we're still just making more of us. And who knows, maybe some of them are low-key fire if you just give them a chance. I bet some of the girls I rejected low-key has some beautiful breastesses that I never got to see because they weren't exactly what I was looking for. Some of them were actually pretty when I think about it, or they got pretty later in life. If I wasn't so picky and blessed every female that liked me, I'd have way more experience. I'd be a much more seasoned male specimen for the beautiful girl I'm with now. I would have had the game figured out by sixth grade. In Pokemon, you usually run from wild Pokemon because they're low level or, you know, it's a waste of time. But imagine what level your Diglett would be if you just fought all those times. More XP, more levels, and then you wouldn't have lost as much to the trainers that give you a lot of XP. So it's just a whole lot of wasted XP. I feel like you should just rack up them points. It can't hurt. It'll set you up for success a lot more than jacking off to unrealistic expectations. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but anyway, black to the back chick. One day in class, the teacher told us to pick someone for partner stretches. And then I blinked, right? And the girl was right in front of me. We end up being partners and we do this thing where we raise our legs on the ballet rail and the partner had to like feel it or like put some weight on it, I forgot. But what I do remember is that I was getting a nice stretch and this chick was petting my leg. But every pet, she went higher and higher and higher. I was like, yo, calm down, Snoop Dogg. But she was eventually caressing my upper thigh, her thumb grazing the tip of my Winston, her tactile member 
brushing along the shaft of my nether regions. That's not why I hate ballet, but I just thought I'd throw that story in here because it's a ballet video. But anyway, why I hate ballet? It kills your feet. Standing on the tippity tip tip of your toes like that cannot be good for your physical health. My aunt's profession happens to be a ballet instructor located in Paris, the city of lights. And her big toe is fucked. Like my lengthy toe is broken, but her thick girthy toe is permanently impaired absolutely obliterated her fat toe points in like it's trying to talk to the other toes and the ball of her foot protrudes outwards which makes them look incredibly fucked and i feel like the big toe is the captain of all the toes so wherever the big toe is pointing that's where the foot is facing so when someone tells her to stand with her feet straight does she stand like this or like this it's a whole mess like is it even worth it there's no king telling you to do this shit anymore why 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 do you do this to yourself? But the main thing I hate about ballet is the ballerina bitches. I don't know if it's just me, but I get hella arrogant vibes from ballet players. Actually, there was one ballet that liked me in junior year. She was a ballerina battery, but besides that, they're all ballerina bitches. They're so bossy. They're just big fat mini heads. Probably because they're doing such miserable activities, so they're simply indignant all the time that vocab though when i first moved to colorado and went to my new school i learned that there was an elite dance team i was like whoa they don't even got a dance team they got an elite dance team so i was thinking of an exceptionally impeccable dance team i'm thinking backflips windmills super fly hip hop i got the image of a hip the hop the hippie, the hippie, the hippie, hip, hip, hoppy, you don't stop the rocking to the bang bang boogie say up jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie the beat yeah. But yeah, when you say the word elite, I'm thinking it's gonna be elite. So I went to the auditions after the first day of school and I realized that this ain't a boogie bunch. It's a prancing posse. It was all females and it was just all contemporary jazz ballet movements taking place. They tricked me. The name is highly inaccurate. The name is highly inaccurate. I had to dance with a bunch of girls and we did girly things. Thanks. Good thing I took my vitamin C, otherwise I would've got cooties. So then in senior year, I started my own hip hop club, which was lit. Way more popping than the elite dance team. We got a lot of people that don't even dance to join the club. It was a good year. Whenever the elite dance team would perform at an assembly, the volume in the gym was relatively normal. But whenever the hip hop club performed, the volume in the gym was astronomical and then i graduated a year went by and one of my students hit me up saying they ruined my hip-hop club it was definitely those ballerina sons of bitches so yeah that's why i hate ballet especially ballerina bitches on top of that it's all girls and it's girly and they wear pink and stuff it's weird so they can all chasse away in their little tutus and shoo shoo we don't want them here but go beat so yeah that's all i gotta say for the video actually wait wait, wait. i should tell you guys like what, what i've been up to i actually wanted to make a separate video just talking and stuff and getting things off my chest but then i realized like nah i'd rather just get to the good stuff you know just get the content i don't fuck with youtubers where every video is an update it's like every video is explaining what's going on with the videos it's like the channel is all update it's like bro just get to the content you know get to the good stuff what do you gotta share what's your what's your big idea what's your talent what's your skill what's the where's the content it's like youtubers will give an update and then they give an update regarding their last update and then they gotta do a new update updating their fans on what they've been doing the past three days all kinds of updates actually you know what maybe you guys want updates maybe that's why updates are so good maybe that's why everyone likes updates all right, i guess it's good to update gotta keep the connection with your followers but i don't know i'm just i'm i don't know i'm just not about updating just make content like you don't gotta do updates all the time for the people who do want updates so i'm telling myself right now i'll start posting updates on instagram snapchat twitter i post in-depth updates on patreon along with other things if you want to become a patron but uh just want support why am i asking for support i haven't made a video in a month actually don't become a patron don't follow my patreon don't follow any of my socials let me deserve it first and then y'all can do that but yeah I appreciate you all. Wait a minute, I just talked about updates, but I didn't actually update. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't posted in a while because I've been trying to make this video, but I've just been really um, harsh 
on critiquing myself like i just realized that i'm not really proud of a lot of the videos i made in the past two years after graduating high school and then doing youtube like doing youtube for real for real on the gang bounce out with that fofo type shit i'm not proud of a lot of the videos i made especially more recently like the past year i did put effort just because of the sheer time i put into it but creativity wise it hasn't been my freshest i just remember when i was a little kid and i was like super creative and i made all these jokes and i was just really funny and but basically i don't like a lot of the videos i made so now i've just been really trying to make better videos and i filmed this video like three different times i changed the script over and over again just trying to get it perfect i just want every video to be a masterpiece now and i don't know if this video is masterpiece level yet but i'm actively putting more effort into the video so you know it's a start so yeah this video took a while to get out just because i've just been real harsh and i don't know if i'm being too harsh or i just i don't know but i haven't posted in a while so that's also probably why like this feels pretty unnatural <laughs> but it's cool i'm gonna get back into it thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and click the little thing down oh wait hold up hold up i get messages and comments saying okay where have you been and stuff like that so uh, just want to say i'm here i'll never leave you guys i'll always be making youtube videos that's a promise even if i don't make money from this or anything like i'm always gonna be making youtube videos even if only five of you guys are here is i only get like five views a video I'm, I'm still gonna make youtube videos because it's fun and if i could make one person laugh then then i'll feel good people's reactions is why i love to make youtube videos like like i love to watch my girlfriend's face as she watches my videos just because i i like to see her reaction and that same goes for everyone like since i was a little kid my dad would watch my videos and i would watch him watch the video and i would be happy when he laughs all right but anyway i don't, I don't know i'm just rambling at this point but i love all my quesadillas and if you're not a quesadilla make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when i upload and i like colonoscopies.